Oh, hey, Kate Monster. Princeton, hi. Hi. Say, Kate, can I ask you a question? Sure. What's your purpose in life? Oh, well, I'm a kindergarten teaching assistant. Oh, right, but what's your purpose? Your dream? Your mission? Nobody ever wants to know that. Oh. Well, I do. Well, since you asked... Uh, no, I can't. I barely know you. Oh, come on. Okay. When I was a little monster, I always wished I had a special place I could go. A special school only for monsters. The media only talks about the bad things monsters do, but some of the most productive members of our society are people of fur. So my dream is to start a special school only for monsters, <gasps> where little monsters can become part of the global community. Oh. So that, in short, is my purpose. But I'm not an egghead. I like to have fun and party. So you're all into monster stuff? Uh-huh. Do you know Trekkie Monster upstairs? Uh-huh. Well, he's Trekkie Monster, and you're Kate Monster. Right. You're both monsters. Yeah. Are you two related? What? Princeton, I'm surprised at you. I find that racist. Oh, uh, well, I was just asking. <laughs> well, it's a touchy subject. No, not all monsters are related. What are you trying to say? That we all look the same to you? <gasps> no, no, no. Uh, I guess that was a little racist. I should say so. You should be much more careful when you're talking about the sensitive subject of race. Well, look who's talking. What do you mean? Could someone like me go to that monster school you just told me about? No, we don't want people like you. Ah, you see? Purpose. It's that little flame that lights a fire under your ass. Harvest. It keeps you going strong like a car with a full tank of gas. Everyone else has a purpose, so what's mine? Oh, oh look! It's a penny. It's from the year I was born. <gasps> it's a sign. I don't know how I know. But I'm gonna find my purpose I don't know where I'm gonna look But I'm gonna find my purpose Gotta find out, don't wanna wait Got to make sure that my life will be great Gotta find my purpose Before it's too late Whoa, whoa, I'm gonna find my purpose Where will it be? My purpose in life is a mystery. Gotta find my purpose. Gotta find me. Whoa, whoa, I'm gonna find my purpose. Purpose, purpose, purpose. Yeah, yeah. I gotta find me. Help the homeless? Help the homeless? Oh, hi, Rod. Is that the wind I hear rustling through the branches? Rod, listen. From now on, I'll believe anything you say about yourself. And I apologize for being such a messy roommate. Now that I have a place of my own, behind that dumpster over there, I can appreciate how hard it is to keep things nice. Rod? Buddy? Can you hear me? You okay, Rod? Christmas Eve, can I consult with you briefly? Sure. What's your problem today? Oh, it's tiny, really. Go on. 
I look at all my old friends who are married now. I look at you and Brian. Come on. Oh. And I wonder, why don't I have someone by my side? Someone who makes me feel special and safe. Someone who loves me the way I love them. Are you special? What about you say? Oh, I miss Nikki. I know you do. <laughs> Wish you could meet my girlfriend, my girlfriend who lives in Canada. She couldn't be sweeter. I wish you could meet her, my girlfriend who lives in Canada. Her name is Alberta. She lives in Vancouver. She cooks like my mom and sucks like a Hoover. And I email her every single day just to make sure that everything's okay. It's a pity she lives so far away in Canada. Last week she was here, but she had the flu. Too bad, cause I wanted to introduce her to you. It's so sad, there wasn't a thing that she could do but stay in bed. With her legs up over her head, oh, I wish you could be my girlfriend. But you can't cause she lives in Canada. I love her, I miss her, I can't wait to kiss her, so soon she'll be off to Alberta. with my favorite book, Broadway musicals of the 1940s. No roommate to bother me. Ah, how can it get any better than this? Oh, hi, Rod. Oh, hi, Nikki. Hey, Rod, you'll never guess what happened to me on the subway this morning. This guy was smiling at me and talking to me. That's very interesting. He was being real friendly, and you know, I think he was coming on to me. I think he might have thought I was gay. Uh, uh, well, why are you telling me this? Why should I care? I don't care. What'd you have for lunch today? Rod, there's no reason to get... I'm not getting defensive. <sighs> why should I care about some gay guy you met? I'm trying to read. Oh, I didn't mean anything by it, Rob. I just think it's something we should be able to talk about. I don't want to talk about this conversation. Oh, but... I wish I could go back to college. In college, you know who you are. You sit in the quad and think, oh my god, I am totally gonna go far. How do I go back to college? I don't know who I am anymore. I wanna go back to my room and find a message in dry erase pen on the door. Whoa, whoa. I wish I could just drop a class or get into a play or change my major or date my TA. I need an academic advisor to point the way. We could be sitting in the computer lab, glorying before the final paper is due, cursing the world because I didn't start sooner and seeing the rest of the class there too. alone with my favorite book, Broadway musicals of the 1940s. 
No room ain't to bother me. Ah, how can it get any better than this? Oh, hi, Rod. Oh. Hi, Nikki. Hey, Rod. You'll never guess what happened to me at the subway today. This guy was <sighs> smiling at me and talking to me. That's very interesting. He was being real friendly, you know? I think he was coming on to me. I think he thought I was gay. Uh, 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 why are you telling me this? Why should I care? I don't care. What would you have for lunch today? Oh, Rod, there's no reason to get... I'm not getting defensive. <sighs> Why should I care about some gay guy you met? I'm trying to read. Oh, I didn't mean anything by it, Rod. I just think it's something we should be able to talk about. I don't want to talk about it. This conversation is over. Ha <laughs> ha!